Due to the freezing cold and treacherous conditions outside today, Sam will be teaching you how to warm up people who have been rescued from icy peril. <laughs> Being in icy peril doesn't sound like much fun at all. We're going to have to test out some of our warming methods, so I was wondering whether you might like to pretend to be a little old lady that got stuck in the snow, sir. Oh, yes, Sam. Uh, of course, I, I suppose I could manage that. Oh, dear. Could somebody help me? I'm so cold. <laughs> uh, excellent, sir. Oh. I know. I'll make some delicious hot soup that will keep station office a little old lady warm. Trevor's here! We can get going! At last! I can't believe we're actually going to see One Way Street! They are the best boy band ever! <laughs> Everyone in quickly, before all the heat gets out. It's me, it's you, got things to do. It's you and me, we're a family. Help, help, oh, I've fallen. Right, Penny, see if you can warm him, I mean, her up. Here we go, ma'am. Here's a nice warm blanket. It's got a big hole in it. Now, how is that? Going to keep a little old lady warm. I think we need to find some less moth eaten blankets, Penny. Don't worry, sir. Uh, uh, I mean, little old lady. Uh, I've got some nice hot soup to warm you up. Oh dear, it's stone cold. I think I might have left it sitting in the snow for too long, Sam. Ah, you better go and warm it up again, Elvis. Perhaps we could listen to my tape of greatest ukulele hits from around the world. No way, Trevor. We're on the One Way Street Express. Oh, I was afraid of that. Oh, it's too icy. She's skidding. <laughs> Finished. Oh, uh, that was quick. Yes, yes, very quick. Oh, look. I'm first at the ladder. Wait, Norman, let me pass! No, wait, Derek! Oh, one at a time! Yes! I was first! Ha <laughs> ha! Woohoo! Woohoo! If everyone else would climb up a little more sensibly. Please. Quidlington! What are you doing up there? I'm stuck, sir. It's all right, Station Officer Steele. We're trying to get him down. I'm just going to hook the wheel back on the line, sir. All right, Sam. I thought we were rescuing Dolly, not each other. There you go, Elvis. Oh, don't worry, Dolly. I'm safe. Oh, oh, it's amazing up here. I can see the whole of Ponty Pandy. Racing's come off. Norman, you did screw all the screws in really tight, didn't you? Yes, of course I did. Uh, oh, um, whoopsie. Oh. Oh. Dad! We need to balance out the weight. Norman, you're going to have to stay in the middle to keep it balanced. Me? Uh... Derek, you go in the middle. You were first up. No, I wasn't. You were first. And you pushed in. Be quiet, you two. No one move, or the whole thing might fall. I really don't like tree houses. What are we going to do? 
There's only one thing we can do. Help! 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 <laughs> what? What is it, Nipper? Oh, someone's in trouble. Come on. What's happened, Trevor? The racing's coming apart. We can't move, or the whole tree house will fall. I'll go and call Fireman Sam. What? Don't just stand there, Mandy. Start the stopwatch. I'm going for the bridge dangling record. Norman Price, what are you doing up there? Get down now. But, Mum, I'm trying to break a record. You'll break every bone in your body. I'm going to call Fireman Sam. Norman Price is dangling dangerously from a bridge. Saved by the bell. Norman Price is dangling dangerously from a bridge. Right there, my precious! Help is on its way! I can't hang on much longer, Mum! <laughs> no! Hurry, Sam! Hurry! My Norman is dangling by a finger! Hold on, Norman! You're safe now, Norman. Well, did I break the record? Sorry, Norman. A boy in Japan dangled from a bridge for two and a half hours. Oh, I'll never be a record breaker. Well, according to my calculations, that's the 57th time I've had to rescue you, Norman. Surely that's a record. Um, it's true. Norman! really do have the world record for being rescued the most times. Yes! I knew it! My little treasure. A record breaker. Oh, oh I'm so proud. Oh, Sam! <laughs> now, Norman, say thank you to Fireman Sam for rescuing you. Thank you, Fireman Sam. Now's your chance to invite Dillis to the dance, sir. Oh, yes, of course. <laughs> Mrs Price, uh, Dillis. I was wondering whether you'd do me the honour of being my guest at the firefighters' dinner and dance. Oh, oh, sorry, Station Officer Steele, but I'm already going with Trevor. He's a volunteer firefighter, you know. Have you seen him in his uniform? He looks lovely. Well, uh, now what am I going to do? Who can I take to the dance? Um, <clears throat> may I have the pleasure, sir? Oh, well... Uh, don't mind if I do, Cridlington, but this time I'll lead. Right you are, sir. Oh, oh no! I'm getting up! Platform, Ben, but there's no sign of Mike. Maybe he's jumped overboard, Sam. I'll take a look around. I'll hold her steady. Penny, Elvis, you direct the cannons. Help! I'm over here! Oh, I got me whistle. Coming, Mike. Sam. I've got you, Mike. Nice job, Ben. Oh, thanks, Bronwyn. Sorry about your fireworks, Mike. It was my fault. I should have been more careful with me button. Well, 
It was a bit choppy out there. Probably a Force 3. Does that mean there won't be any fireworks, Mike? I'm afraid it does, James. The ocean of flame will never be seen. It might, Mike. If I help you, we can go out on Titan. Oh, I love a fishy nibble. Don't you, Trevor? Uh, Button bro, Neil. Slips into the pool. <clears throat> you should do the honours, Sam. I will, sir. Attention, everybody. Oh, what's going to happen? I now declare the Ponty Pandy Ocean Rescue Centre open! <laughs> and we're off! That really does look like an ocean of flame, Mike. But this time, I won't put it out. <laughs> I'm stuck again. <laughs> Help. Don't worry, you two. Fireman Sam is on his way. Elvis, the bag. an inflatable rescue path! Ooh. Whoa! Whoa! Tie it to the end of the jetty, Penny, then hold it steady. Sarah, James, it's okay. We're coming to get you. Done. It's going to sink! Don't panic. I'm here. Elvis, you helped me complete the winter training. And I agree, the inflatable rescue path is better than totally brilliant. Now, you three, you must remember that frozen lakes are not safe to play on. Sorry, Sorry Fireman Sam. Sam. I shouldn't have wanted to show off my brilliant ice skating. I meant to do that. <laughs> Look, if I can grab that branch, I can stop the boat from moving. I'll help you. Ready? Now! <laughs> Don't you worry, Norris! I've got you! They took the boat downstream. Okay, Penny, go and Saturn in that direction. It'll find Steel and the others by sensing their body heat. Elvis, I need you to direct me through the dark. Okay, Sam. Waterfall! 
Sam needs to hurry. Come in, Sam. The rowing boat is at the top of the waterfall. You need to head 200 meters north, Sam, and quick. On my way. Ooh, he, he's doing this near. I need you to tie the end of the rope to the boat! I'm sorry. I, I want it to be fun, but it led us to dangerous waters. And I'm sorry, too. Next time, don't go too far and always check where you're rowing. Oh, we will, Sam. We won't make that mistake again. And are you two all right? Well, it did get a bit scary, Uncle Sam. But we did have quite a lot of fun with Station Officer Steele and Grandad. You hear that, Penny? Station Officer Steele was fun. Maybe he won't be cross that I got his report soggy and messy. Bridlington, you got my report soggy and messy? Come on, everyone. Let's get back and finish the filing. Not you, Cridlington. You can explain what you've done to my reports. And then Radar will get in. Whoa! <laughs> Radar, stop! Come back! Huh? Well, now I feel a little bit silly, eh? Round three, the 100 meter pet motor dash. 20 bonus points to the winner. Ready, steady, go! And they're off and racing. Mandy and Nipper take the lead, followed by Sarah and Lion. Coming in at third place is Norman and Woolly, who stops to eat some tucker. Come on, Woolly! And racing up the rear is Norris, fast as lightning. Oh, Nipper would go so much faster if I wasn't holding him back. Nipper, if I let you off the lead, do you promise to behave? I'll take that as a yes. Run like the wind, boy! Fire at the whole fish cafe, and Nipper and Lion are trapped inside. can be a handful. I'm sorry, Fireman Sam. So am I. That's all right, you two. But you need to keep a careful eye on your pets at all times. <laughs> mm. Morty? Why, thank you, Your Majesty. Cridlington? Oh, dear. 
<laughs> um, ladies and gentlemen, the average Normansky. <laughs> Sorry, the amazing average Normansky. machine. And now, for my next trick. <coughs> hey, I haven't got a smoke machine. Ah! Fire! Everybody out. I'll call Fireman Sam. Station Officer Steel, Firefighter Morris and Firefighter Jones all pass the exam. Now, Cridlington. I've got a bad feeling about this. Fire at the Flood's house. There's a fire at the Flood's house. Penny, shut off the electricity. Okay, Sam. Elvis, check that everyone is all right. Okay, Sam. Is everyone okay? I think so. Where's Mandy? <gasps> oh, no. She's still in the box. Don't worry, everyone. I'll rescue her. <laughs> Thanks, Penny. Mandy? Mandy! <gasps> what happened? It's all right, Mandy. Everything's going to be okay. Come with me. Hello! Oh, yay! Yay! Thank you. There, Mandy. Safe and sound. Elvis, that is quite enough. The boy's gone do lelly. Oh, my nerves are in shreds and the shreds are in tatters. Elvis, if you carry on like this, you're going to lose your job. Okay, fossil hunters, lunch is over. Let's get going. <coughs> Whoa! <laughs> ah. Ah. <laughs> ah, I'm fine. No need to. Whoa, ah, ah! Moose! Uh. Moose! Are you all right? Yeah, I think so, but I can't seem to move. I'm stuck between a rock and uh, another rock. Hey, don't worry. I, uh, I have my walkie-talkie. Oh no! I hope my fossils aren't broken. Get help! How about Grandad? He could call Uncle Sam. It's okay, Moose. We're getting help. Now, what's this about your fossils? James, Sarah, what a lovely surprise! <laughs> There's been an accident. Moose has fallen down a ravine and is stuck between two big rocks. Oh dear! Stay calm. No need to panic. And call Fireman Sam. Oh, I just don't know what's got into Cridlington today. Now he's gone and hidden my helmet. It's almost as if he wants to lose his job. Moose Roberts has fallen down a ravine and is stuck between two big rocks. <gasps> I'll call Tom. Come on, Penny.
pop you out of there. Tom, send down the double harness. Adios, Sam. It's on its way. Okay, Tom. Lower me into the gully. Come on, Moots. Let's get you out of here. It's no good. I'm stuck fast. Hang on a minute. It's not you that's stuck. It's your rucksack. This should do the trick. I wonder which way they went. Oh, come on, Lily. This way. Lily, we'll find them. Oh no, I think we've come the wrong way. I didn't realize how narrow it was. Now, what we have here is a great big piece of slate. Lily. What? Lily isn't with us anymore. Oh no, Sarah's gone too. I, I can't see them anywhere. Lily! Sarah! Where could they be? I better call Fireman Sam. Sarah and Lily are lost on Ponty Pandy Mountain. Sarah and Lily are lost on Ponty Pandy Mountain. I'll head to the mountains. You call Tom Thomas, sir. Right you are, Sam. Lost, Sam. They're in a tricky spot. I'll use the winch. Can you get me any closer, Tom? to find a safe place where I can reach you. What are you doing, little sheep? He's showing you the way to safety. If you get up there, we'll be able to reach you. The sausages are ready. Ooh, uh. What's that? That log sounds like my Norman. Look out, Dillis! Oh, Trevor, you 
save my life. Norman, my precious boy, what's happened to you? Trevor! The camping stool! Oh my, I think I'd better call Fireman Sam. There we are, perfect. Ah, solid as a rock. Well done, you two. Oh, and not a moment too soon. There's a forest fire and Trevor, Guinness and the children are trapped. There's a forest fire and Trevor, Guinness and the children are trapped. We've got a forest fire. We're going to need you, Tom. On my way. Panic! I'm a volunteer firefighter, you know! Oh, Trevor, you are so brave! It's Fireman and Sam! It says that you press the activation button twice to enter the menu mode. Which one is that? I don't know, Penny. Ah, how are you two getting on? W well We're completely stuck. Hmm, it looks like you press the red button to open the menu. Then you change the settings by using the yellow and blue buttons. That's it! It's working! Maybe playing with giant vegetables can come in handy after all. my recorder when the boat capsized. I'll never record a whale now. It's my fault. I'm sorry, Charlie. I shouldn't have tried to take over the boat. Don't worry, Ben. No. You're the captain of this vessel, Charlie, and clearly know the waters around Ponty Pandy better than anyone. So, what are we going to do? Will someone come and find us? I'm sure they will, love. But till then, we need to keep our spirits up. <laughs> How, Ch Charlie? Like all those Ponty Pandy sailors of long ago did, by singing the Ponty Pandy Sea Shanty. I'm not sure I know that one. Don't worry, I'll teach it to you. <laughs> Set a course for the coast of fair Ponty Pandy. Look out for the lights that are bringing me home. For I have been sailing to lands far and distant, but I will return for a wasted land home. So great! Teaching Elvis and Penny how to use the sonar. Better than fighting giant carrots. Way, Way better! better. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, you lot. You haven't seen Charlie and Bronnie, have you? They're not at the cafe. That's strange. They should have been back hours ago. Gareth, can you look after Sarah and James? I'll call for help. Charlie, Bronwyn and Ben are lost at sea. Charlie, Charlie Bronwyn, Bronwyn and Ben are lost, lost at, at sea? sea? We'll need the helicopter. Elvis, you call Tom Thomas. Right, Sam. Wallaby one. Charlie Bronwyn and Ben are lost at sea. On my way. I'll take Juno, you two take Neptune. Looks like we'll need the new sonar. We can. Uh, my arms are killing me. It was around here somewhere. There! Oh. That wasn't a turtle, Mandy. That was just some seaweed. Now can we give up? No, Norman. If it wasn't for you, we would have been on 
found Neptune and spotted it already. We've got to keep looking. Um, the sea is starting to look very rough. I really think we should go back now. Oh, actually, which is the way back? There, I can see it. Stop rowing, Norman. I can't wait to see this. Ooh. It's good to be on dry land again. Chicken pasta feeling better now, sir? Oh, yes, Sam. Much better. Right. I just need to find the right frequency, and we should be able to see everything the turtle is doing. That's brilliant, Ben. Oh, dear. That turtle does bob about a bit, doesn't she? Chicken pasta back, sir. I think I'll just go out for some fresh air. a real turtle. So which way do we go? Um, that way? I said that way, Norman. Okay. I'm trying, Mandy, but the waves are taking me this way. But that's taking us towards the cliffs! like she's going along the coast. Yes. She certainly doesn't mind the sea being a bit rough. Wait a minute. What's that? It's a rowing boat. That's Norman and Mandy, and they're heading for the cliffs. But where? There's miles of cliffs along the coast. Look, they're near the lighthouse. Norman and Mandy are in a rowing boat and heading towards the cliffs near the lighthouse. Got it. And on my way. so many props on my side of the ship, Sam. I just wanted the best pirate ship ever. Don't worry, Norman. As long as you and Hannah are both safe. That looks like the perfect pirate ship to me. <gasps> it really does. Oh, my little Norman set design is so realistic. I feel like Jimmy Depp could jump out at any moment. <laughs> Who are? I am the pirate Ponty Pandy Pete, and this is my treasure. And here comes my ship, the Ponty Pandy Pearl. My frillies flapping about in front of everybody in Ponty Pandy. Now that's entertainment. But look what you did! Why can't you ever do anything normal? Why do you have to be so embarrassing? Oh, I'm sorry, lover. I don't mean to embarrass you in front of your friends. But you do! Is everything all right? Everything's fine. You were just like a regular sausage, cooked on a regular barbecue, with no silly hats involved. All right, Hannah. 
rebuttal. Move back, everyone. It's spreading. Stop! We're moving towards the cliff. We are trapped. Oh, this time you really do need to call Fireman Sam. Oh, no, my battery is flat. Now what are we going to do? We can use my hat. The solar panels have got a power adapter. There. Fire at the ruins, and people are trapped on the cliff. There's a grass fire at the ruins, and people are trapped on the cliff. Getting vertication again. Oh, uh, what are we going to do? It's Uncle Sam. Penny, you hose down the grass. We'll get the floppy shovels. Okay, Sam. <laughs> Everyone, let's get you to safety. Elvis, make sure everyone's okay. We need to get this fire under control. Water, Mandy. That's a petrol lawnmower. Ooh, uh, and that's fertiliser. You know what happens when you mix petrol with fertiliser? What? It explodes! Explodes? Oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. We'd better call Fame and Sam. Thank you, Nurse Flood. We really did learn lots about bandaging today. Yes, even if most of the practice was on you, sir. Well, after a busy day like that, I just want to go home and relax in my garden. Oh, oh, uh, uh. The, the flood's garden is on fire and oh, it might explode at any moment. My garden's on fire and might explode at any moment. Come on, team. Elvis, you get everyone to safety. Okay, Sam. Penny, we're going to need the sticky foam. Okay, Sam. Come on, everyone. Get back behind Jupiter. You'll be safe there. Turn it on, Penny. It's out, Penny. All safe. Phew. I'm sorry, Mum. And I'm sorry, Fireman Sam. I just wanted to give my mum the perfect garden. Don't worry, Mandy. It was a nice thing to try to do. 
It was Mandy. Thank you. <sighs> of chemicals are we dealing with? Elvis. Sodium! But there's all sorts of chemicals in there, Sam. Oh, I wonder what extinguisher Sam will use. I've got it! So have I! Because, because when in doubt, doubt you can't fight fire, fire with Sam. <laughs> you have got it! You put out the chemical fire, Elvis. I'll deal with everything else. over the sodium. That's okay, Sarah. I think you should just have one party next year. Just a plain old party with games and balloons and party hats. Boring! <laughs> 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 Pandy Pete! And he's protecting his treasure! Ah! Uh-oh! Please, oh, please, 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 let me find the path and not a pirate ghost! James? Is that you? Oh, Dad! You've got to help! Norman's lost in the fog and I can't find him anywhere! Norman! Are you there? Let's head back to the boat. It's time to call Fireman Sam. Norman Price is lost in the fog on Ponty Pandy Island. Uh, uh, oh, good. Uh, uh, finally, my lovely cup of tea. Norman Price is lost on Ponty Pandy Island. Come in, Penny. We have an emergency. Take Neptune to the Ocean Rescue Center. We'll be ready with Saturn. Over. Right you are, Sam. Let's hope Saturn can see better than us. Anything? Come on, Saturn. I've got something. Saturn's found Norman on the secluded beach. Hold on!
I was really looking forward to those. Oh, I got it! Yes! Hey! Ow! Oh, my foot! Again! So, where the grizzlies is the cheese? <gasps> and where's my little treasure? Wait! Slow down, cheese! Ah, you're not getting away that easily, cheese! No cheese and no Norman Price. I smell trouble. I thought that was the cheese. Um, excuse me, Station Officer Steele, but, um, Norman sent the cheese rolling off the course and ran off after it. That's treacherous terrain out there. Oh, no. My little treasure is lost in the mountains. Oh. Don't worry, Dillis. We'll find him. But it's quite a wide area. We'd better call Fireman Sam. I'll go and get the helicopter. <laughs> Norman Price is missing in the mountains. Norman Price is missing in the mountains? This would have been the perfect job for Saturn's heat-seeking sensors. But Saturn's broken, huh? Sam. Hmm. Well, if we can't find him by sight, Elvis, perhaps we can find him by smell. <laughs> you all to myself. Just you and me out here, all alone, on this rocky ledge. Help! If Radar can sniff out the cheese and follow the scent, he'll lead us straight to Norman. Well, I've been holding the cheese all day. My hands really smell of it. Radar, go fetch. It's okay. I found him, Tom. Norman Price is on the west face. Roger that. Lower the double harness. Penny, nice job. Thanks, Ben. Right then, let's get back to the center. Uh, I think I'll stay back here. It might be a bit drier. Good idea, Sam. Whoa! Sorry, Sam. Don't say it. It's, it's a, a good, good job we're wearing, wearing waterproofs. <laughs> The Ponty Pandy Cup is about to begin. Places, everyone. We're not going to go very fast, are we, Sarah? Yes, James. Really fast. We need to win the race. I think you'll find that I'm going to win the race. Dream on, Norman. You'll never won it. Now, is that all the contestants? Not quite. Make way for... Oil Thunder! He's a grown-up! That's against the rules! The rules are... There are no rules. Right, are we ready? Room for one more! What is that? Say hello to the Rocky Blaster 2000. Oh, I take my fluffy flag to the finishing line. Up. Three, two, one! Please don't let it blow up. Ignition! Rocky 
just a coming through! This is so completely unfair! James, stop putting the brakes on! I don't like speed! be flying to the top of Ponty Pandy Mountain after all, Mandy. No, but Lumbykins will. Go, Lumbykins! Oh, dear. He's chewing through the ropes. He could fall to the ground. <gasps> I think we'd better call Fireman Sam. <laughs> <gasps> Lumbykins has taken off in Joe's Cloud Scraper and there's no licensed pilot on board. Lemmykins has taken off in Joe's cloud scraper, and there's no light that's pilot on board. The cloud scraper's heading for Ponty Pandy Mountain. We need to get to the mountain railroad, and fast. Tom? We're going to need the helicopter. using the grappling hook. Right you are, Sam. Chewing culprit. Good work, Sam. Oh, that's a relief. Point your toes together. Sorry. That wasn't quite as graceful as a falling snowflake, was it, Penny? <laughs> no, Elvis. The bucking ride down a steep slope will make my actors look really frightened and make my movie really scary. Okay, actors, get on the toboggan. We can hear you. You'll slide down this um gentle slope, and I'll follow behind, filming you so it will look like the monster is chasing you down the mountain. But Uncle Sam told us not to go past those boundary ropes, Norman. Action! Do look scared. Avalanche! 
Another one. <gasps> Norman, Sarah, and Mandy have been caught in an avalanche. Norman, Sarah, and Mandy have been caught in an avalanche. We're on our way, sir. Okay, everyone. Now it's time to ski. Uh. Ah! We'll zigzag back and forth across the avalanche zone, just like we practiced. Listen out for your transceiver, and when it beeps louder, the kids are close by. It's beeping louder, Sam. We're getting close. Hello, Sarah, Mandy. Hello, Papa Sam. They're trapped in the hut. Great snowplow, Elvis. Huh? I got it! Oh, thanks, Penny! <laughs> Are you sure you packed everything I need for the best sleepover ever, Mum? Of course I have, Norman. I packed your toothbrush and your comb. And your teddy bear. Oh, don't pack that. I don't want to look like a baby. Have you packed my army bob pajamas? Of course I have, my little treasure. Oh, that's my that's my and now we're off to the best sleepover ever. Who'd have thought my little Norman stopping out all night? I wonder what pyjamas I pack then. As it's a night shift, Penny, we're really going to have to stay focused. So concentrate really hard. I will, Sam. Am I a cup of tea? Well done, Penny. And it only took you ten guesses. My turn. Uh, am I an elephant? Firefighters. Oh, Chief Fire Officer Boyce. What are you doing here, sir? Surprise, night shift, training drills. Um, you seem to have some, uh, paper thingies on your, uh, on your heads. Ah, <laughs> uh, yes. Well, uh, sometimes on a night shift we play What Am I? It helps us stay alert, sir. Ooh, a bit of brain training. I like it. All we have to do is wait for your mum and dad to go to bed, and then we can have the best sleepover ever. I'm so excited. It's a good job I don't have big baby pyjamas like you two. These aren't baby pyjamas. Neither are these. Well, they are compared to my pyjamas. Oh, no. My mum packed my cuddly sheep pyjamas. Uh, everybody, look over there. What? Uh, what are we looking at, Norma? Is it something scary? Um, I thought I saw a, a giant penguin. A giant penguin? Uh, maybe I was wrong. So, are you going to change into your not big baby pajamas then, Norman? No. Only babies wear pajamas. I'm going to sleep in my clothes. Well, if Norman isn't wearing baby pajamas, then neither am I. I hope my mum and dad go to bed soon. And then we can have the best sleepover ever. If you're stuck, give him a shout. He'll be there to help you out. So move aside, make way. 